How are the Syrian government and the Syrian people reacting to this new decision by the United States to give support to the military rebels? Well, on the one hand, I mean, you've already mentioned that there was a lot of anger on the part of the Syrian government. They came out and said that what the United States was saying, these allegations were lies to try and supply the rebels uh, with weapons. But clearly, they're also very, very worried about all of this because, of course, they know that the United States would be the formidable force that could make a large difference on the ground here in Syria. One of the interesting things that I did today is I walked around Damascus and I spoke to people there who support the government. And a lot of them really were, were in this mode of disbelief. They said they'd never believe that their government would ever use chemical weapons. They believe that this was all fabricated, that this was all done uh, by the opposition if anyone used chemical weapons. And then there was that mode of defiance where people were saying, well, if America wants to come here, if America wants to help the rebels, let them do that. We are ready to fight against America. But of course, in everything that people here say, you do hear that worry and that concern that if America were in fact to play a larger role in this conflict, it would mean a lot of trouble for the Assad regime. The White House has made fairly clear, Fred, that they're not talking about a no-fly zone. They don't think that's on the table. They're not ruling it out, but it's not something they're actively seeking right now. It mostly seems like they're talking about small weapons. Is there a sense there on the ground that these types of small weapons could turn the tide on behalf of the rebels? No, those, I mean, small weapons wouldn't turn the tide on the side of the rebels. One of the things that there's a lot of here in Syria is those small weapons. There's a lot of rifles here. There's a lot of mortars. There's a lot of RPGs that are going around on both sides. The big thing would be uh, sophisticated anti-tank weapons, uh, for instance, and of course also anti-aircraft weapons, because we do know that the Assad army does have a pretty formidable military. It's got airplanes, it's got, uh, it's, it's got those heavy tanks, and of course it also has Hezbollah fighting in its ranks as well. And that really seems to be what's been making the difference in the past couple of weeks, because the Hezbollah fighters don't only provide manpower on the battlefield, but they are also formidable in urban combat, and that's exactly what's going on. And the other interesting thing that I've seen, uh, John, because I've been going around Damascus to the front lines here in the city, because there are some districts here that are held by the rebels, and the Syrian military was very, very confident that they now have the upper hand. I've never seen them speak so openly to Western journalists as they did with me in the past couple of days. We'll see where that goes now with this whole new equation. But the past couple of days, they've been very confident. Certainly, America entering the scene would deal a very large blow to that.